Hello. Time to lift my first parsnip of the year. Um, but before I do that, let's just recap on how we got to where we are today. Uh, earlier in the year, I started some parsnip seeds off on damp tissue windows, got them away, and then brought them out here and sowed them individually as a germinated seed. Could hardly be described as a plant, there wasn't much of them, they were a germinated seed. Uh, I put a line across this bed and I dibbered a hole about a foot deep and about four or five inches apart and filled it with a fine homemade compost. Um, and that's where I sowed the, uh, sowed the parsnip. So hopefully we should get a nice long root that isn't forked, that isn't split. But we won't know that when we dig it out. Okay, now last year when I lifted parsnips, it turned out to be quite an excavation, so I've come prepared today. Uh, these guys don't want to come out. Once, once they get, get their roots down, they don't want to come out, so it tends to be a bit of a battle. So I'm going to do an excavation, so just bear with me. should make life easier getting this parsnip out. Now what I will say is, sorry I've watched videos where people have advocated that you shouldn't lift parsnips till they've had a frost and the frost makes them sweeter and, and all that sort of stuff. Personally I think it's mumbo jumbo but um, taste, taste is a personal thing isn't it? Uh, and how sweet do you want something? Um, and if you're a person that likes things very sweet Maybe you should do that, but what I found was I lifted these guys and they were plenty sweet enough and they hadn't seen any frost at all. Um, so, anyway, I'm just passing on my experience to you. I don't think they need frost to make them sweet. They're sweet enough without frost. Wow. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to be out of the bottom of this raised bed if I don't watch out. Blimey. Now I can't get round the other side of him because there's parsnips round the other side so we're struggling a bit now. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he's moving. Can you see that? Yeah, he's moving. Let's get a bit more of this soil out and then we'll have a go. I hope this camera's uh, on the job because I'm on the parsnip, I'm not on the camera. Right. Let's put some gloves on get, so I can get a better grip on this parsnip. We'll see if he wants to come. Can you see him? Let's move some leaves. Can you see him now? That's him. Now apparently when you're lifting parsnips, the way to get them out without breaking them is to push down and twist. Um, someone that had watched one of my videos has seen me struggle gave me that advice and I do find it works. I'm gonna try that, push down a twist. Just let me get my gloves on. Molly, can you fetch me my gloves? Just go and get my gloves, sweetheart. No, no, not there, they're up there. Go and get my gloves. Oh, thank you, Molly, well done. Good girl. I think this will come out. Why am I? Oh, it does. I've nearly dug down to Australia here. Right, we'll just move that out of the way now. And we'll give it its first go of push down and twist, shall we? See how this goes. I think we're getting it. Yeah. There we go. How's that? Okay, we'll take a few of these smaller fingers off. We can't use those, we don't want those. And the, the reason I'm only taking one parsnip today 
is that we're going to incorporate it into some uh, mixed vegetables and uh, if you're not careful parsnip can overpower everything it's quite uh, it's quite a flavoursome vegetable but we want to taste the other veg as well as the parsnip so one will be enough for today okay so I've just laid the parsnip down on the edge of the raised bed um, I can span about nine inches that's got to be nine inches plus whatever that tail is I don't know make it a foot just over a foot so we're happy with that uh, we don't want anything any bigger than that it's just a fight to get them out and it looks sound and there's no marks on it um, so we're quite happy with that uh, and if you want to see these guys being sewn on a tissue uh, germinated on a tissue then brought outdoors then uh, sewn into the bed there are videos on the channel just look them up uh, we'll get this guy indoors now and uh, I'll call it a day, I think it's time for a cup of tea, I don't know if you can hear me I'm puffing and panting are you? Puffing and panting Okay, this is Homegrown Veg, signing off